City, everybody. You already know it's your boy Lou. Hope y'all all enjoying y'all day. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be working on the control arm. Supremes. Chassis control arm, whichever you wanna call it. But this is what we're gonna be switching out on the 2016 Honda Accord Sport. And the tools we're gonna be using is a DeWall impact drill, a torque wrench, a short 17 millimeter socket, and a long 17 millimeter socket and a 22 millimeter socket long. And we're gonna use a ball joint remover, the WD-40 to loosen the bolts. And yeah, that's basically all the tools you're gonna need to work on this job. Now let's get straight to this video. Alrighty, y'all. So this right here is what we're removing. The bolts you gotta get to is in the back, right in this corner. Try to give y'all a better look at it. There you go. We're gonna be removing that bolt right there to the control arm and that bolt right there to the control arm and we also got to take the suspension off of the arm of right here because it's in the middle of the control arm as you can see so we need this out the way so when we pull that out we can pull this off and also we got to remove that bolt right there and that little pin before we can even get to removing this piece Alrighty, so this is what we're gonna work with first. The bottom bolt with the pin in it. And the way you remove this pin first before you even get into the bolt is like this. Bear with me, y'all. I'm, I'm using one hand and one hand to show y'all. All right, so you're gonna push this pin in. You don't really have to push it in, but I'm gonna push it in. And that little gap right here on this one, well, there's still a gap, so you might not even have to push it. But if you do, just push it. Little gap right there, you're gonna stick a tool in like this. I didn't mention this in the tools you need, but something like this you can use for this part. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna put it right here, right? You're gonna pull it out, like that, like so, and boom, see? Easy, pen is out. And now, gotta work on this bolt right here with the 22 millimeter. And that's how we get the bottom bolt out before we work on the other two bolts on it. All right. So before we take that bolt out right here, where I took the pin out, we're gonna take the shock out first by removing this bolt right here. And you're gonna use an adjustable to hold that side while you pull this bolt out. And that would be, again, a 17 millimeter on the impact drill, uh, 17 millimeter long. So that way you can get in. And once you pull that out, it's gonna release this part right here. And then we'll be free of this. So that way we can work on those two bolts in the back and pull this out right after we take this bolt on the bottom off. All right, here we go. My bolt is out. So now, coilovers, shock, now it's off. So now we work on taking that bolt off with the 22 millimeter that had the pin. And then we work on those in the back. So now we got the bottom bolt off. It's right here where the pin went through. And that bolt is off now. Again, that was a 22 millimeter. And the only reason why I'm not showing you guys the way I did it is because, again, I'm doing this with one hand, so it's difficult for me to show y'all how I'm taking that off while holding the phone until I have something that I could use under the car. But sorry for that. But I'm trying to explain it to you guys as best as I can, as if I was showing you. But yeah, so that's the 22 millimeter that we pulled that out with. And then the bolt for the shock is a 22, I mean, I'm sorry, 17 millimeter. And now we're gonna work on those bolts back there. Those are 17 millimeters as well. All right, let's get those off. All right, yeah, so I found a way to be able to record this for you guys without me having to hold it with my hands no more. So that's a yay. <laughs> so now this is the bottom bolt. That I was telling you about in the back of the control arm. There's one here and one on the opposite side. So we're gonna use a 17 millimeter to get this out. So I loosened this with the torque wrench and the 17 millimeter. But the bolt is long to where the torque wrench and the 17 millimeter attachment doesn't fit in this little gap. So now I have to use the 17 millimeter wrench. With a rat, with ratchet on it. So yeah, this is what I had to go with to get in this gap because there's not that much clearance for the the drill and the boat. And again, this ratchet 
as a pencil. So I would highly recommend a wrench like this to make the job easier. Yeah. Now that we finished those bolts in the back, now we've got to work on a board joint right there. Now we're going to use a board joint remover. Looks just like this, right? This part right here is the part you're going to put right under here. You're going to push it right against that rubber right in there and push it right through there. Once you get that through, you're gonna get that bottom plate on that bottom bolt. And as you tighten this, this is gonna push that up, and this is gonna push this up. And that's how it's gonna pop it out. Alrighty, and that's what happens. Once you tighten this down, like I said, that piece is just gonna keep moving up. And within any second, beam bada boom, pops this right out. Just like that. Yay. All right. So, I didn't see this little guy right here. So you're gonna need a 13 millimeter to take this boat out. And what that is attached to is this piece right here. That's the last thing holding me back. See, everything's off. Everything's loose. Everything's out. Just this little guy right here. And done. All right, I can pop it out. And she's gone. I'll show you how the difference between the old one and the new one. All right, and there you go. The minute you pull that boat out, you push down on your wheel hub and pull that right out. And there you go. That's the old one. Look how nasty that looks. That's time to go. That is nasty. And look at the new one. Yes, yes, yes. All right, put this back on. And with the new one. Now, just gonna put the bolt back on that, the pin, tighten it. Tighten these bolts back here. Tighten that bolt over there. Put the piece that I took off from right above here. And that's it. These ones are done. Ah, definitely a little work, but it's worth it. Compared to how the other one look, a beauty now again the gap is so small that i gotta go the slow route so this is how i gotta do these boats this one has a bigger gap as you can see see way bigger gap this one not so much all right i'm done putting everything back let's sit you go to board joint that's the new one you see how the old one look the pin is back the boat is back Bolt is back right here for the shocks or coilovers. And the bolt is back over there. As you can see, the threads is right there. That's done right there. And the bolt is done over here. That part is back. And yeah, that's everything. Officially done. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please consider hitting that like and subscribe. On to the next one. Thank you guys. Peace.